Hi everyone, Mike from the Excel Trainer here. In this video, a workaround for counting unique values in a pivot table in Excel Online and Excel for Mac. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the demo file from the link in the description below. So, what do I mean by a distinct or unique count? In this list, there are three orders for Atlanta, but two of them are for the same customer. So, a standard count would be three, and a distinct count or unique count would be two. For Los Angeles, the three orders are from three different customers. So, both the standard and distinct counts would be three. For New York, the six orders are from one customer. So, a standard count would be six, and a distinct count would be one. In the Windows version of Excel, if you store the source data in the data model instead of the worksheet grid, creating a pivot table showing the number of unique customers is simple. But neither the Mac version of Excel nor the online version supports creating pivot tables from data model based data. So, let me show you a workaround. The workaround is identical for both Excel on Mac and Excel on the web but I'll demo it using the Mac version of Excel. I need to add an extra column to the source data. So I'll go to E2 and I'll use the heading count. You can use anything you like. And then in E3, I'm going to enter a formula and copy it down. The formula will be one divided by count if open brackets B3 to B14, which is the range with the customers in because that's the ones I want to count. And I need to make that absolute with a dollar signs so that I can copy it down. Then a comma and then B3, which is the cell with the first customer. Close the brackets and enter. And then copy it down. So what does that formula actually do? Well, the count if part counts the number of rows for each customer. Dividing the formula into one gives fractions that when added together will count one entry for each customer. So for example, there's two rows for malt trumpet. One divided by two is 0.5. There's six rows for Sapphire Saloon. One divided by six is 0.167. I'll then create a pivot table. Click on insert pivot table. I want to use the data that's in A2 to E14. I want to put the pivot onto an existing worksheet. And for this demo, I will just put the pivot table to the right of the source data and click OK. I'll then drag a location into the rows section. I will also drag a location into the values section. And this gives me a standard count. So there are 12 rows of data and it's showing me a breakdown per location. But if I then drag count also into the value section, what this is giving me is the distinct or unique count. So I hope you found that to be a useful video. As I said, even if you're not a Mac user, if you need to create a pivot table using the online version of Excel, that process works in the same way. If you did find the video useful, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please let me know in the comments below. I also have a free weekly newsletter packed with tips and tricks to help you become more productive in Excel. And if you want to sign up for that, please visit theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day.